So I uh, just got finished building myself a current limiter. I had uh, most of the materials already to build it. Uh, however, I did need to make a run to the hardware store to pick up a 200 watt bulb and a socket for it. Uh, so other than the materials I already had, I probably already spent uh, maybe five bucks on it. Uh, the current limiter I'm going to be using to troubleshoot amplifiers. Um, I've already been working on uh, this here MPEG BA-115. Uh, it's had a few issues. Uh, I've changed two trans transistors in it already, but it also has four diodes bad and a rectifier that's blown. Uh, so I'll be using the current limiter to give it an op check after I've replaced those components. Uh, if you're not familiar with current limiters, uh, they're real handy to have, especially troubleshooting electronics such as amplifiers. I'll show you a little bit about it. Um, I just have my cheapo Weller soldering iron plugged into it right now. And if a device works like it's supposed to, you turn it on, turn the current limiter on, and the device functions like it should. No light in the light bulb. So if you plug in something like this amplifier here that is not functioning like it should, and that right now the amplifier is on, then we get a blinding light. Uh, that light bulb is taking the current that would otherwise go through the amplifier and start burning up fuses and maybe doing further damage to other components on the amplifier. Uh, so that's uh, it's a really good troubleshooting tool. Um, it's also good to save money.